Sony, Disney related, but not because we're going to be talking about some Spider-Verse stuff. This is coming directly from a website I don't use that much. So this is kind of rumored. This is from a, uh, a rumor thing. I'm going to start getting into rumors here in a little bit. But this is from a source that has talked about this mostly. This is coming from the Ankler. Talking about the Silk Spider Society Rider Room has been paused at Amazon. They announced uh, a little while ago that Silk it would be as Silk and Spider-Man Noir would be getting TV shows. Originally, I thought they were going to be animated, but it looks like it's actually going to be live action. But the Silk show has put pause because of the res the results of the you know how people have reacted to uh, Madam Web. They want to change how they're writing that show, and it says. The hotly anticipated, I don't know if it's hotly anticipated, but Silk Spider Society has paused its writer room, releasing writers to pursue new work, minus the showrunner, even as the show remains in active development, sources close to the show tell the anchor. Deadline had previously reported that the Silk Writers Room was set to reconvene in mid to late January. The anchor learned that the show had been back only a few weeks before writers and their reps were informed of the pause this week. The series was the first several live action Marvel Sony co-productions to get greenlit by Amazon. Also in the works is Spider-Man Noir, where I'm told that Nicolas Cage is in serious talks to take on the lead role in the series, which will be set in 1930s New York City. Sony declined the comment. So originally when they announced Spider-Man Noir, and that's kind of why I want to talk about this, Spider-Man Noir was talked about by, um, they were going to um, do it animated and it was going to be voiced by someone else by Nic Nicolas Cage. But it looks like now this is going to be live action and Nicolas Cage is in talks to star, which I feel like it should be animated because it's coming from the Spider-Verse film. Let's not do live action. Let's just do a cool black and white Spider-Man noir animated show on Amazon. I don't understand why we have to get this live action. It's coming from an animated verse. People really like Spider-Verse. People really like that character from Spider-Verse. And he was missed in Across the Spider-Verse. Let's get let's get a show to show what he was doing in between in time. I think it would just be easier. A source close to the studio says Angela Kang, who has a multi-year overall deal with Amazon, will continue to act as showrunner for the series that centers on a Korean-American heroine, Cindy Moon, who, according to reports of the long lie, is bitten by the same spider by that bit Peter Parker, which is from the comics, and goes searching for her missing family, which is part of the comics too. The series also produced by Spider-Man into Spider-Verse duo Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. One source close to the series claims that Silk was being refocused with a more male skewing audience in mind. Audience had no comment. Amazon had no comment. The studio and its streaming arm Prime Video have found success with a number of male skewing series, including Reacher, Jack Ryan, The Terminal, which are more conservative shows. They've been hitting that conservative market. Though more female skewing Y series as The Summer I Turned Pretty have also performed well. Sony currently has another Spideyverse title in circulation, Dakota Johnson starring Madam Web. The film opened to poor reviews and largely expected to underperform. So sources told the sources, sources, sources had previously told that Silver's Rider Room had a member, number of episodes deep into the season before the strikes began. After the Riot's Guild of American Strike ended last September, several shows were still on the ice at Amazon. It's supposed to be coming back in November. Uh, they had a sternly worded letter to Amazon Farming Studio that their failure to re recommence a number of writing rooms after the strike is a violation of the strike termination agreement. So, yeah. So, it seems like a couple of things are here happening here where they are pausing what they're doing with uh, Silk because of the reception for Spider-Man Noir, because maybe they were writing it to be more female-centric, whatever that means, and they're, and they're realizing that the statistics show that superhero movies are, on comic book movies, are more male-leaning. And female people, like Wonder Woman was 50-50, Captain Marvel was still heavy male-leaning, the Marvels was male leaning, so like they have to kind of be male centric. Hopefully, women will come, but it looks like women are not very interested in superhero films. Unfortunately, obviously, there are women that love superhero films, but they're more the minority than the majority. All that's is Wonder Woman, which they haven't capitalized on. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, but a Silk series would be fire. Hey, Lawrence Report, thank you for joining the live stream. I just saw that you put out your Madam Web review. I'm gonna definitely check that out soon. And yeah, a Silk Silk is a great character, and a Silk series would be super dope. It's very she's very different from other Spider Women and Spider Man. It can be a little dark, it can be a little fun, it could be it, it can be very very interesting. 
I think that was a good idea on their part when it comes to Silk. Yeah, I think if they didn't have something strong, recollecting would be good. I'm interested in Spider-Man Noir. I am interested in Spider-Man Noir show. I don't know if I want to see a live action. I would love an animated show. 